If you've been on YouTube or Reddit August last year, you might have seen this screen for yourself, or a screenshot of someone else getting it. This, of course, I'm talking about the infamous YouTube app blocker, Blocker, pop up. Discussion exploded on Reddit, mostly consisting of people complaining about ads, as well as an angry mob storming r slash memes, converting it into a Firefox propaganda center. Roughly a month later, different ad blockers eventually found their way of bypassing detection, and they work on YouTube once again. Naturally, Redditors thought they've just won another war against big tech, completely ignoring Google's original plan to kill off ad blockers by June this year. So all extensions, including ad blockers, follow a specification called the Manifest V2. The Manifest allows extensions to do certain things, say accessing browser tabs or to change browser settings, all while putting some limitations and prevent extensions from doing crazy stuff, like installing a virus to your system. But too much limitation is what pisses off many extension developers about the upcoming Manifest V3. In this article written by the EFF, they interview developers responsible for popular extensions, where most describe Manifest V3 as a downgrade. Some even goes to accuse it for being purposefully bad. I particularly like this one from the creator of Single File. Quote, I consider the migration to Manifest V3 to be a major regression from a functional and technical point of view. After an update in June this year, a feature called the Web Request API will be removed, and the ad blockers and tracker blockers that depend on this feature will stop working. Since the business model of Google is to track your online activity, then show you personalized ads, it is not difficult to see why this feature is removed. Not only are they sacrificing user experience for monetary gain, they are forcing the same update on all Chromium browsers as well. I am hereby devastated to inform you that this is not the first time they've done it, and it will not be the last time they will do it. But there are also good news. Non-Chromium browsers will not be affected by Manifest V3, and if you are already using one, you will be exempt from any future nonsense Google throws in your way. So if you're considering switching to one, unless Safari is your go-to browser, which lacks competent extension support, you can still get your ad blockers, another ad blocker, all the ad blockers. So are you going to make the switch before the update? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I'll be seeing you in two weeks. Have a good one.